Hey guys, so welcome to your um, 2024 prediction reading for Scorpio. Uh, this is going to be for 2024. We're going to go through each month to see what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect. You can apply this to any of your placements, anything can come up. We're not focusing on anything specific. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So, tell me about Scorpio in 2024. Tell me about Scorpio in 2024. What does Scorpio need to know for 2024? Tell me about Scorpio in 2024. Tell me about Scorpio in 2024. Tell me about Scorpio in 2024. Okay, tell me about Scorpio starting with January 2024. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Nine of Pentacles here, and the Devil here. Wow. Um, I do feel like you might be meeting someone new when it comes to romance. Could be meeting this person off your uh, one of those uh, dating websites, those dating apps, whoever this is, this person's completely obsessed with you. Yeah, uh, I do feel like this person might be very controlling, okay? I do feel like this person might have a bit of a narcissistic tendencies here. So just be careful of this person that you're meeting off one of those dating websites. Tell me about Scorpio in February at the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Six of Wands here, and the Ten of Cups. Uh, whoever this is, this person that you're meeting in January, this person wants to rush things really quickly, fast. This person's going to love bomb you like crazy. This person's going to want to move in with you within the third week. Uh, they want to get married probably within the second month. Um, keep in mind, that's a huge red flag when that happens. Uh, personally, uh, from my personal experience, anything that's rushed, it won't last, okay? Whoever you're meeting here, this person's definitely rushing this, okay? So just be careful. Scorpio in March. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. And then we have the Two of Cups here. Yeah, there is a relationship that's beginning in January. And I feel like by the third month in March, I feel like things are going to be a, a bit chaotic. Uh, there's going to be conflict here. Yeah, uh, you know, the, the intentions are, are not really being known here. And I feel like there's going to be arguments. I, I, I do feel like you're going to feel a strong soul tie with this person. But I feel like this person is just not the right person for you. Because I do feel like there's a bit of a maturity difference here. Tell me about Scorpio in April. We have the Five of Pentacles here with the Ace, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you... This is an ongoing thing. You're meeting. I feel like by the sixth month, this is gonna all fall apart. Yeah, I, I feel like some of you real uh, realize that you know maybe this is not love. You know, uh, there's definitely gonna be some sort of betrayal here. I do feel like this person might dip out on you and leave you here. Okay, seems like this person wanted to seal the deal with you, chase you, and then once they caught you, didn't know what to do with you, and then this person turned on you here, Scorpio. Scorpio in May. Scorpio May. We have the King of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands here, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, you know, I feel like you're going to separate from this person in April. And then by uh, May, I feel like this person's going to come back around and try and want to talk to you. But you're completely disengaged from this person. Or that you're not even giving this person the time of the day here. Okay? Scorpio in uh, June. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces with the Five of Cups here and the Lovers here. I just feel like you're just really disappointed that... You, you know, I feel like you were really excited about this relationship that's coming in here. And I feel like you're going to be really disappointed that this didn't work out here. And I feel like you know that it's it's for the best. Uh, because I feel like, you know, um, you don't want to be in a situation where you're not happy in. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like it's going to be a bit of a whirlwind sort of situation. I feel like it's going to move really quickly. I feel like it's going to move really fast. Uh, but I, I, I just feel like it's not going to work out because there's someone here is definitely rushing this, okay? Tell me about Scorpio in July with the full card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, and the four pentacles and the Lord's card. Yeah, you're going to actively decide and make a decision to move on from this, to close out the situation with, uh, with this person. I feel like you don't want to hold on to this. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is with the four pentacles here, uh, you know, be careful of the way you, that you spend your money here. Some of you guys might be spending too much money. I do feel like a lot of you guys, when it comes to your money here, I do feel like a lot of it goes towards 
towards your travels here, okay? So be careful here. Some of you guys could be traveling in July, going on vacation and stuff like that. I get the feeling that some of you guys could be going to Europe, uh, uh, going to Europe for a long vacation. Uh, tell me about um, Scorpio in August. We have the Three of Swords here with the Nine of Wands here and with the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, someone here is coming in with an apology for hurting you here, okay? For breaking your heart. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles here, I feel like some of you guys could be getting a new job offer. Maybe a raise or a promotion or something like that. Some of you guys could be getting some sort of message regarding work here in August, okay? Tell me about uh, Scorpio in September with a Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy, the Three of Cups here, and the Moon. Um, ongoing saga with this person that you're meeting earlier on the year, and I feel like this person's definitely coming into looking looking to reconcile here with you. I feel like you could be seeing this in your dreams that, hey, this person's coming back, and then bam, this person's there. They're coming back trying to reconcile here with you, okay? It could be that you're also having dreams about this person where you're finding closure with this person too this person that we've been talking about for the first six months here okay so um the moon uh the three of cups and the judgment card tell me about scorpio in uh uh october with the ace of wands we have the chariot cancer energy here in the eight of pentacles you know i feel like um during uh, uh october i feel like you guys are going to be working a lot I feel like you guys are working at the same time, traveling for work, and also working on your business here. Some of you guys uh, will be starting some sort of business here. Yeah, starting kind of like a side gig and just seeing where things go. I feel like it will go really far. I feel like it will be a lot of hard work here. I feel like um, starting in October, because what you're doing here, I feel like a lot of you guys are not going to be a lot, getting a lot of sleep, a lot of rest here. So make sure you guys listen to your body. Okay, as you kind of like to begin this new venture here. Tell me about uh, Scorpio in November. We have Hermit Virgo Energy with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords here. Um, during this time, I feel like you guys are just uh, avoiding drama. With the Five of Swords here and the Hermit, I feel like you guys are putting yourself first. You guys are definitely doing a lot of introspecting, self-reflecting here, spending a lot of time by yourself, and I feel like you guys are kind of enjoying it. You know, I feel like you guys are definitely kind of, kind of, uh, trying to seek, like, answers deep within yourself, and, you know, trying to see what's next for you, trying to see what your life purpose is, you know, see, uh, to, you know, focusing on your healing here at this time, just doing you, okay? Tell me about Scorpio in December here. We have the Knight of Pentacles here with the Justice card here and the Knight of Cups here. Okay. Someone here is coming in to speak some sort of truth here to you. I don't know. Um, this is interesting. I feel like it's almost like something is coming back around. It's like someone here did something. And I feel like it's kind of catching up to them. I feel like the court of law is getting involved here. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be you. It could be someone in or around your life. Um, it could be a situation where someone here did a hit and run or something like that. You know, hit a car, drove off. And they shouldn't have. And they feel like it's catching up to them. You know, maybe your insurance, someone's insurance carrier will be reaching out saying that, oh, a claim was like filed against you or something like that. And you have to pay this or that you owe this person this. But yeah, it seems like something is catching up to somebody. And like I said, you know, th this these readings, you know, it doesn't have to uh, really apply to you, but it could apply to someone that you know that's going through this or dealing with this here. Seems like, yeah, it seems like some sort of court situation will happen here for somebody this is interesting. I feel like this is not you. I feel like this is like a friend or a family member or like a six sister or brother or something like that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely some sort of court situation that's happening in December. Okay. Um, so Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.